So it is time for us to head to the hospital and go have a baby. Probably not the way most birth vlogs start because <laughs> ours is planned. We were able to get ready and pack all our stuff. So that's why I look like I'm ready, but it's actually been kind of nice to be able to do that. But yeah, today is February 17th and we are getting induced at 11 a.m. It is 1034. So we are about to walk out the door and yeah, I'm like feeling really anxious. Like really this, nervous, but. This could be a 12 hour process or an entire weekend. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see, but I'm 40 weeks, three days as of today. And yeah, this was just the best option for us. My body is like not really getting there on its own and I didn't want to go past 41 weeks. So after discussing it with doctors and doing our own research, this was the best decision for us. So yeah, we're doing it. And I will bring you guys along for most of the journey. We'll see what we can film and what we're able to film and all of that. But yeah, super exciting. Let's go meet Ella Rose. Ooh. All right, boys, the next time we see you guys, we will have another human with us. What do you think, Archie? Y'all are gonna be big brothers. Bye. We'll see y'all soon. All right, we're all checked in. This makes it so real. She's gonna be here to all that. I have to put on my little gown. Kayla, in her gown. Here's Getting the... delivery ready, here's the fit. The mama fit. We are all <laughs> set up. We got mom in bed. Baby. We got Waiting the monitors on, on baby. Our heart rate is 132. We are waiting on the side attack, right? It's not a tech. Just a waiting. It's a waiting game. We have Kayla's playlist. Push playlist rolling. We got mm -hmm. bad guys on the TV. I got golf on the laptop. We got Kayla's mom here. And me. <laughs> we got a good little room here. Have a little where she will be. The weigh-in station. Okay. What color eyes is she gonna have? Don't all babies have blue eyes? No. I don't know. She would have brown eyes. It would Probably make sense. It's the dominant trait and we both have brown eyes. I don't know. I know people with brown hair and brown eyes, both of them and have like don't blonde hair, blue eyed girls. And he has oh, dirty yeah. blonde hair. Okay. I guess I'm done with him. Yep, we'll update you guys when stuff starts popping off. Hopefully that is soon, in the next six hours. It's now 7.15. About eight hours in. That's crazy. It's, we've been here for eight hours. And We're uh, one centimeter one dilated. Centimeter dilated. She is having quite a bit more contractions and they're getting longer, stronger, closer together. Yep. So things are looking bright. We brought the fire stick, but this is the screen we're working with, so that's probably not gonna work. I was on the birthing ball, but we got we the to get birthing babies. ball. I was on there, but we had to get baby's heartbeat again, yeah. so here I am. Here we are. Just been snacking up a storm. She's been um, going gung ho on the food. One of the nurses told me not to go gung ho eating, and that was at like, what time was that? That was probably like four, maybe. No, yeah, because we ate at like three. Yeah. But the other nurses all said like, oh yeah, you can eat until you get Pitocin. So, here we are. Snacking. Mm -hmm. It looks like the contraction's starting again. She moved just now too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's pretty much our entertainment right now is snacking. Patrick and mom have definitely been snacking. <laughs> You yeah. call us out like that? Yeah. I've pretty much taken down an entire Pop hospital coffee pot. Yeah. We were trying to watch Love Island. Don't know if that's going to work out. I was ending some earlier. Mom's been working on our laptop. Patrick's been watching golf. That's the dealio. No big updates. Nope. Got my little water jug. The famous water jug. The hospital water jug. Mm -hmm. It's a souvenir. You want to show off your snacks pack? 
Mm-hmm. There's a spot. Yeah, but they haven't seen it in the hospital. I mean, look at that. Just, you know what's in there, you know? Like, when I look in the bag to get her snacks, I'm like, there they are. Snacks. Snacks. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling on the uh, um, like state? I'm still really excited and hopeful that she's going to be here sooner rather than later. That's my prediction. She's going to surprise us. I am on the opposite spectrum. I am, uh, I'm planning to... I'm planning to be here till Monday. I am very excited, but it's a slow burn right now. So I'm just, I'm gonna get my money's worth by eating all the hospital snacks, drinking all their coffee. That's supposedly free, but we'll see the receipts. But yeah, I'm excited to meet my daughter. I can see she's gonna be pokey in, in the earthly life. She's gonna be a stubborn pokey girl. Pokey. Mm hmm. She seems to be doing well, heartbeat strong. Mom's doing well, nice and strong, good looking. <laughs> One centimeter dilated and good looking. But all right, signing off for now. Update in another eight hours. So we're doing another check-in. It is now 10, 15-ish, right? And I'm on the ball right now. Yeah, we had some fairly painful contractions. Obviously nothing like unbearable or that needs pain medication. So we're just chilling through them, but they're still pretty consistent. And we're going to recheck at 11 and then make a game plan for what we're going to do after that. Either Cervidil or Pitocin or something. So we'll see. So yeah, I'm just sleeping. Does anyone else get like really hungry when you're in the hospital? Because I have been so Patrick's hungry. Patrick's been just eating all of the foods. I've already almost eaten half my snacks, y'all. And I brought a lot of snacks. And most importantly, we are watching Love Island to distract me until 11. So I feel like it's going to be quite easy to get to know you. It doesn't scream. Too much action. It's not great. It is next day. We've officially been here for 23 hours. We are hopefully over two centimeters. We're definitely two centimeters dilated. We are on Pitocin. Six. She's at six milliliter drip. Milli units. Milli unit drip. And we are chilling. It's, uh, it's been quite the night. It has been quite yeah, the night. Yeah, I was so uncomfortable and then finally got checked and got to two centimeters at 5 a.m. Then they were able to start me on Pitocin and... Got some pain meds, got to yeah. sleep. And I took a dose of fentanyl and slept. All of us were able to sleep for three hours. They didn't need the fentanyl, but... Anyways, so woke up this morning, 8 a.m. and doing some stretches. They upped my Pitocin. That last sleep was good. Yeah. And now we wait to be checked again. It's probably soon. That's pretty much it. I'm having some contractions, but I tell her that you're gonna flick her. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Flick my baby. <laughs> She's being stubborn. Next update coming in and four to eight hours, we'll see. Oh having a contraction right now. Of it. Kayla is having major contractions, um, oh. debilitating contractions. We put the Foley balloon in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had a mental breakdown, as I'm sure you can tell by my face. Cried a lot. Got another dose of fentanyl to insert the Foley balloon. And now the contractions are very bad. It hurt so bad. So we're waiting <coughs> on the epidural. But this is real life. This is it. This is sometimes what pregnancy looks like. We're just sitting on the toilet because it's comfortable and there's a bar here. And I'm also on another dose of fentanyl right now because I have to be still when they put the epidural in. So, in between contractions right now. 
but she's doing good. It hurts. It hurts so bad. But she has been doing amazing. And we're gonna get through this, right? No. We're gonna get I through can't this. wait to sleep after the epidural. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yep. She's gonna have a trooper. It's been a hard few hours, but... I'll have to update you guys on my crying spell and <laughs> why that was later. Oh, but for now, this is just a quick update. We have just gotten the epidural. Locked and loaded. She's on the. Wait, where are your feet? Oh. She's on the the stand, thrown position. Checking out what I look like. Yeah. You look great. Ten out of ten. Eleven out of ten. We are five centimeters. Ninety percent of face. Negative two. We're back on. Don't want to film any other nurses. Yeah, we're five centimeters, 90% face, negative two station, and they broke the water. I didn't feel anything. It's crazy. Epidurals rock. But now I get to chill like this, which I really don't care about. Throne position. And just for reference, here's the dilation joint. And we are there. So we did use the fan. The fan was used. The fan was used. And that did help. Yep, yep it sure did. Got well, my water. Update. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling very excited and really happy since I brushed my teeth. <laughs> and um, yeah, I can't wait. I'm a little hungry. Yeah, me too. I ate fettuccine <laughs> from the freezer. Of course you did. Me and him are like chowing down. You, Patrick, you should have vlogged everything you ate. And oh my god, that would have been really funny. Out. Yeah, right. They'd send me a bill in the mail. <laughs> They'd be like, this is the guy who kept stealing all of our food. <laughs> like, literally, you eat it in every hour. So yeah. Either you are snacks or something. That's true. Or my food that they bring me. I wish I could send like a... Um, <laughs> a letter out through this video and be like, somebody bring me lifesavers. Did you eat all the lifesavers? Uh, first of all, I we did. all ate the lifesavers. Like ten. There's only 50 in the pack. You <laughs> ate a fifth of it. And she ate a ton of them. This suckers are good. I may well, have to buy kidney salt. I know. Patrick got them one time and I was like, dang, I didn't know I liked these so much until yeah. Yeah, they're the best. Anything gummy for them. But yeah, anyways, there's like a patient uh, snack portal over there. You have to like take the camera. I, I know. I'm going to be like, <laughs> if you're ever giving birth in Roanoke Memorial, check out the patient snack portal. Because the cafeteria. one on this side. Yeah. It's it. probably Show better. Me. This is Kayla's liquid diet tray, which is hilarious because she only eats the jello. What kinds of the juice? We have cranberry juice cocktail, apple juice, ginger ale, apple juice. iced tea. Would you like this? There's like tied me a bracelet. Yeah. Which I don't like because I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Final stages. Final, final little bit. We're at eight Possibly not. centimeters. Eight centimeters, 90% effaced. Zero. Zero station. And we're in this like really comfy position with our leg thrown over mm -hmm. and peanut ball. peanut ball. Peanut ball, yes. We have the best nurse, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. We have Rebecca who we love. But she gets off in 45 minutes. Yeah, so we need she gets off really on. soon. <laughs> but, and then dad's watching golf. So. Time. We're good. We have one set of grandparents is in the waiting room. This is baby Ella. I don't think you can see it. But anyway, we're super excited. We can't wait. My dad just reminded me that it's been almost 31 hours. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's, he's good for something. He can keep us on track with how long it's been. Luckily, the last... Have been pretty, decent, right? pretty decent hours, yes. Pretty much all day today has been pretty. Mm, no. I mean, there was a there was really a phase. This morning was the worst of it. 
That's true, but there was progress, quick progress today. Yeah. Yesterday was just waiting. Comfortable yesterday. progress today, maybe. And then look, we have this gorgeous sunset out our window. It's hard to see, but it's really pretty. And there's a crane out there too, so ignore that, but the mountains. My cliche, February 19th is gonna be her B-Day. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Patrick? I think this is pretty nervous? cool. Are you excited? I'm excited. She's doing good. Lots of big pushes. She's got her little fan. Making progress. That's, all for that. That's it for now. <laughs> Alright, a lot has happened um, since the last update. Kayla ended up getting dilated to 10. We are. We have I'm both. So to say <laughs> we have both probably slept about three hours in a full and forty my plus. My body has done one of the most traumatic experiences yeah. a body can do. So. As you can see, there is a very healthy, beautiful young woman sitting in my wife's yeah. arms. Yeah, so we finally got to. We were at eight, then they checked, and I was at nine point five, and then from there we waited another hour. They, I took a nap though, which was good. Got to ten. Started pushing, it took a good while to get her crown, about three hours. Three hours and 15 Honestly, minutes of the, pushing. Honestly, the pushing part wasn't even that bad for me. It was just the half, the first half of labor that was bad. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, when I say bad, I just mean like uncomfortable, hard. Long, boring. Long. It's been very long. So it was it's 7 36 so. hours before she started pushing, if that gives you any... So it was 36 hours at 11 p.m. I think she was born at around 4.15 a.m. 36 plus 7 is how many? That's 43 hours. 43 hours as of now that we've been in this room. So, But yeah. she was born at 4.15, so she's currently almost three hours old. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do a whole other video probably introducing her yeah. at some point. But yeah, everything was everything was good. I'm doing good. I walked pretty much to the bathroom with assistance after the epidural. So yeah, I think we're doing good. But anything else that we forgot to say? I got to catch the baby and it was awesome. A little scary with obviously like 95 to 5 percent doctor to me but i caught the baby and cut the cord so kind of a baller some would say i got a first degree tear not bad that's fine with me over sharing <laughs> I'm just kidding. For labor and delivery boys. Yeah. yeah, so we really thought she was going to be born on February 18th. We got the centimeters and we were like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. We're going to do this. But everything with my body was like so slow through all this labor process, as you guys can tell. So obviously she wanted to arrive on February 19th. So that's what she did. February 19th, baby. Yeah. It's a good date. Yeah. It's a good date. That's our labor and delivery story. I didn't expect it to be this way. Didn't expect it to be this long at all, but she's healthy and she's here. And she wasn't in distress during labor. I didn't have any issues during labor, like that they had to, you know, like really intervene on or. Other than time, it was the cleanest. Yeah. Could have been. It was just long. My body was just like, what the heck? We've never done this before. Now we're a so little delirious. So successful 43 hour induction story that did still end in a vaginal birth. Because I know a lot of times if you see things go past like a certain amount of hours, it can be discouraging or you feel like it's going to go to a C-section, but it didn't. It was never even brought up for us at all. Mm -hmm. It was smooth sailing with Cytotec, Foley Balloon, some fentanyl in there for pain, epidural, tocin, then epidural, and so some, friend, some Tums thrown in there. Tums thrown in there. <laughs> I mean, it was not an intervention-free birth. So. Now, in case anybody knows, you're not allowed to bring your own medication to the hospital. I did not know that. Learned that today. Well, you're just not. They would have to get approved by the pharmacy. Which takes longer than just ordering Tums from the pharmacy. 
But anyways, yeah, that is it, you guys, for this labor and delivery vlog. I feel like I'm like talking like super soft right now. We're both so tired and really hungry. Yeah. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>